What's up my stat stars? When it comes to experimental design, there are four huge pillars or principles that make a good experiment, well, a good, well-designed experiment. And the third of those pillars is replication. Basically, replication means that we want as many experimental units in each treatment group because the more, the better. If we just have one versus one, one person getting treatment A and one person getting treatment B, there are potentially 50 extraneous or confounding variables that could explain why the response was different other than the treatment that we gave them. But if we have 1,000 people getting treatment A and 1,000 people getting treatment B, then we're gonna have much more strong data that convinces us that, wow, treatment A really did make an impact. It didn't just happen to that one person, it happened overall to everybody, or on average, that entire group was way better. So replication is just essentially the more the merrier. The more experimental units that you have in each treatment group, the better. It's gonna give you stronger results that are more dependable and more reliable that we could use for statistical inference.